грузі червона калина похилилася. Чогось наша славна Україна. We took you in our hands and made you magic. Wax seals the color of a surface it covers. Each color is protected from the next. As the dark wax melts, the sun is born. Pesenka comes to us from ancient Slavic culture. Thousands of years ago, each decorated egg or pesenka had a magical power and purpose of its own. When Christianity came to the Ukraine in the 10th century, those symbols were adopted to take on Christian meanings. During the Soviet era, Stalin's scorched earth campaign set out to destroy Ukrainian artifacts. I guess because they were jealous? Collections of Pesanka had to be smuggled out of the country. But behind closed doors, women continued to practice the art form of Pesanka and pass it down to future generations. Pesanka became a symbol of resistance and a big middle finger to Russia. And that's what this Easter is all about. So this has been a really involved process so far. I saw a tutorial that said, for American eggs, you should wash them in a solution of water and vinegar. They're a really slimy texture now, uh, because apparently American eggs are washed in an oil-based soap before they hit the grocery store. So, and that oil-based soap is not conducive to having wax and uh, dye on it. First, I ordered the kit. Uh, it came from Etsy. I believe the Etsy shop is in Poland. I bought my kit from Poland because the shipping times were quicker. The ones from the Ukraine just weren't going to get here in time. I did, however, also buy a kit from the Ukraine. Of course, we want to support Ukrainian sellers. I'll link this one down below as well. When the kit arrived, I realized that it didn't have dye included the way American Easter egg kits always do. So then I had to look and find where I could find aniline dye, which I believe is usually used for dyeing wood. It's very toxic. <laughs> when I realized, like, once I started unpackaging it, that it was, like, kind of spraying into my face, and so I had to put a mask on. And now um, part of my hand is blue. I think that's just how it is uh, from now on. It's supposed to be very uh, precise and careful, and I'm just not that precise or uh, scientific of a person, so I haven't gotten started yet, and I am, uh, <laughs> this has been challenging. Get out of here, fake eggs. This is the kit that I got from Poland. I'll link it down below. It came with a hollowed out egg, which is convenient. It also came with a bouquet of pussy willows. I've since learned that pussy willows are integral to Ukrainian Easter's, the same way palm fronds are here. Once I had unpacked everything, I realized that this kit didn't come with dye. So I looked up where to find dye for Ukrainian Easter eggs, and I found that the nearest place was the Ukrainian Museum, which lucky for me was in the Lower East Side, not far from where we live. So one rainy Sunday afternoon, we headed out there. She looks kind of like me. I found all the dye I could ever want in the museum gift shop. I also asked the gift shop employee for a recommendation for a Ukrainian restaurant in the area. Since the Lower East Side has been home to a large Ukrainian population since the late 19th century. While we waited for our food, I showed Andrew what else I had purchased in the gift shop. Surprise, surprise, it was an egg. It's an egg. egg. Ooh. 
Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. So well, Andrew, yes. are you ready for the most intense egg dying experience of your life? I am. This has got stages. So yeah. what we're doing now is uh, we're going to be drawing a design on our eggs with pencil. Mm -hmm. Then we melt wax and we apply it to the parts of the egg that we don't want the dye to adhere to. Right. And then we dye them and then if we want to add another color then we put wax over that color that we want to stay and then it goes into the next bath. So it has to go from light to dark. It's very complicated. I don't frankly expect us to nail this <laughs> the first time. Or maybe you will. You're very art artistic. No. I thought that for our first attempt, we'd try something really simple like this. Ah. Or don't erase. Like, don't use your eraser. Yeah. If you uh, F, F up, you can just, uh, it doesn't matter because the pencil isn't going to show. Right. So. Yeah. That's Gentlemen, shit. start your egg like engines. This. No, we're this. Yeah. What? See? Uh. Again, like, you're clearly not paying attention. <laughs> Haven't done yet? Drawing on eggs is hard. What do you think? Huh? Uh, wow, okay, you really just winged that. That's <laughs> so good. My professor did a Pisanki workshop that I attended. I think I told you about this. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said that in Ukrainian villages, and I've also, I've read this elsewhere, that it's like a thing where you make a fancy pisanka, uh, pisanka and then you give it to your uh, your crush, a, a man that you fancy. Yeah, it's a demonstration of your feminine gifts that you uh, have enough patience to make such a delicate egg. Yeah, describe me as a patient person. Uh, yeah. Ask me if I would describe you as a patient person. I don't need that <laughs> in my life right now. What candle? We have here our kiska. Right. A copper funnel tool, a kistka, guides the wax. The kistka is heated and reheated many times to keep the wax flowing. I see now how the pencil is kind of a guide and what really happens is a little bit more gooey. <laughs> like who could even be precise with this stuff? I think yours is beautiful. I'm going in for my first dye bath. Something is definitely happening. And the wax is meant to remain on at this point, or you're taking the, the wax The wax is remaining. For it to be multiple colors, you have to do wax multiple at multiple stages. Little by little, the yellow pattern is sealed in wax. The final design will stand out against a black background. Выступають наші добровольці у кривавий I'm gonna do my second round of dye. Oh boy. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice blue. Ew, I like how, I want our spoon to be this blue. Like well, all we the- We can't eat it because it's toxic. How toxic? <laughs> Let's find out. Ah! <gasps> Don't you Can I have dare. a new paper towel? Yeah. Like the it goes. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my God. Look at that. Mm. Next up, we're going to uh, burn the wax away and see what we have beneath. Uh -huh. So let's just see. Ooh, oh shit. Yeah, and, and what we, we didn't want to do <laughs> is get immediately. <laughs> black carbon on there. Wouldn't like a focused bl uh, butane torch do better? Oh boy. This is cheating. This is advanced technology on an ancient practice. I love yours. Okay, next one. We're gonna keep this one. Mine is gonna go straight in the trash. The mistakes made in wax cannot be changed. Ukrivavita, vizvolya 
Мати рідну Україну з московських кайдан. This is the dye that I made myself out of beet peels. Uh-huh. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think it looks like? Rather bloody. Fleshy. You said it looked like a placenta earlier. A little bit, yeah. We're supposed to think really good thoughts while we're making these. That's really hard. That's the hardest part. <laughs> Having You're having a lot of negative, negative thoughts. Negative thoughts about the eggs themselves. That's going to imbue the egg with evil. Well, maybe these eggs will be evil. <laughs> green, 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 green. Second coat, second egg. Oh boy. Big money, big money, big money. Ooh, God, I love this blue. Yeah, that's a really good blue. There's always a line that is missed. This is a very dramatic and scary process. <laughs> it it wouldn't do to have anyone like heckle you while you were doing this. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> right, so now the egg is gonna be blue when you dump it into the blue and then you'll know oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. wax revealing the green beneath. Or could it could it be the, the turquoise? Do we not have a turquoise? We yet? have a turquoise. <laughs> Well, this paper towel is gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, explain the process uh, of, of making a rotten egg again. <laughs> According to multiple sources, uh -huh. you can just leave the egg out and the insides just dry up. The egg is raw. The inside dries to dust in time, while the shell may remain for generations. You've got a bit of a rotten egg on your hands for, for, for like a, a couple of months. For a couple of months. <laughs> it's gonna What's stink a couple really months bad. of rotten egg? Or you can make a hole in either side and blow it out. So on this egg, you can see that it's been drilled in the top and the bottom. See how this goes when it floats. Okay, so this is hopefully gonna be my best egg. Ooh, oh boy, yeah, oh, that's a floater. Uh-oh, so you gotta press it down. I gotta roll it around. Oh boy. To get it all in there. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Candle's running out. Ah, it's disappearing. Mm. With a little hole in the behind, when I heat it up, it like blows little dye bubble farts out of its <laughs> back end. Cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, it looks really cool. Well, at least we'll come out with one good egg. One out of how many? Five? I don't know. If I burn this egg, I will kill myself. <laughs> so let's talk about what went well. Yeah. And what, what went not so great. So this was your first egg. I actually think that this, think this is one of the best eggs. Yeah. This is easily a winner. But only if you look at it from a distance, which I think helps with these. Which helps. Yeah. This was my first attempt. Truly a mess. Uh, I burned it. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't marks. finish the lines over here. And the colors just like weren't that bright because I, I don't know, I made them too small. This one was my next attempt and I it's like, like a little Beautiful. bit better, but it still has like a missing stem to one of the flowers. Yeah. Like, we don't know what isn't there because, right. you know, how it, it looks yeah. kind of antique already. So that's the beet color. Mm. That was the natural dye. So then there's a missing... Andrew's second <laughs> The egg. one that fell on the floor. Yeah, forgot what I was doing a couple of times. <laughs> you know what, it's if this was a regular pretty. Easter egg, if this was an American Easter egg, we'd just be like, that's a lovely shade of blue. This is the one that was hollowed out that came with a kit. This is my third attempt when I felt like I had uh, more of a hang yeah. on what I was doing. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a... Uh, Maybe we can get that one to your mom. Yeah. Or keep it. Oh, of course. <laughs> when I would give to you. Yeah, 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 your crush. To show you. You, you wouldn't want to give that to me. I would have destroyed it a immediately. Little... <laughs> yeah, and then you'd break it immediately. Oh. <laughs> uh, and that's how I'd know you were the one. Are we going to do this every Sunday from now on? No. <laughs> I'm now more fond of the American Easter egg style of how easy <laughs> that is to clean up and like so deal easy. with. We had to squeeze this all into a couple of hours. 
Yeah, don't do Pasenka if you have anything else going on yeah. that week. You cannot that have a job and do this. We it's are... even more impressive. What we saw, the Ukrainian museum is even more uh, oh, crazy. So precise. Now. Yeah. I don't know how they, yeah. Don't know how they Magic. do it, and we will never figure it out. Yeah. Happy Easter.